Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries for February. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. We're going to do you and the other person this time. And it could go vice versa. So we're going to have two sides. This could be you, or this could be you, or this could be them, or this, whatever, right? So we're just going to see what comes up. I will probably call this one you, unless, you know, whatever. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aries for February? What do we have for Aries for February? What do we got? Oh, Ace of Swords Reverse. Now this could be cutting communication. Uh, a loss of power. Okay, this is going over here. This is a loss of power. This is the end of communication. Um, so we're going to do you and the other person. I'm not sure which side you are at. We're going to figure that out here in a minute. But this is a lack of truth. Somebody may not be telling the truth. Could be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be. This is somebody that um, lacks self-worth, lacks self-esteem, likes control, has a lot of pride. You could be dealing with somebody that is very controlling. This is somebody that is weak and will use their, they will overuse their power or they will misuse their power to control you. This is somebody um, who doesn't believe in themselves. This is uh, a lack of respect for others. Okay. Hmm. Maybe that's the person that's not telling the truth. Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very self-sufficient. We have a hard worker here. Somebody that is very dependable, very capable of success. Exciting opportunity to start fresh. Now, this is a very independent energy. Now, this is a, just go for it. Just go for it. You have a bright opportunity here. This is the Ace of Wands. But you need to acknowledge something. You may not. You may need to take a new approach. Some of you may be going your own way. I think that you are dealing with a very controlling, manipulative individual. And now you have this exciting opportunity to go your own way. To be independent. Because this is very capable of success on your own. But you've got to acknowledge. You've got to acknowledge the truth and take the power away from whoever this person that is so controlling. You're dealing with a controlling individual here. You have to, you know, it's like that God is giving you an exciting opportunity here to start something of your own. Seriously, this is start something of your own. This could be a new partnership, a new sexual partner, a new exciting opportunity. This is something that will grow. Okay, maybe you get this new vision to, maybe you, for some of you, is start your own business or to separate from this controlling energy, whoever this person is. Let's get some more information over here. What was that? Revert? Look at that. It must have been in the deck the wrong way. The hangman reversed. Now, the hang, this person is hiding something. Because this is hiding something. Obsessed. That, we have an obsessed person over here. Obsessed with hanging on. Obsessed with fighting. We have a, This is ego and this is ego. You're dealing with somebody who has a huge ego. Huge. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Leo. It's like you need to... Uh, find your strength to get away from this person because they're stealing your energy. This person is very stubborn and they just want to fight. You're dealing with a fighter here. This Eight of Wands. This is jealousy. You may be dealing with somebody that is very jealous. I think that this person moves very fast. They're probably very impulsive. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is like a battle, competition, overly competitive. You're dealing with an overly competitive individual. This person talks a lot. They're a big talker. They gossip. 
very competitive. You're dealing with somebody that is overly competitive, Aries. This person plays games. Okay, this is a game, a player. Whoever this person is. They play mind games. Mind games. They love it. They're very controlling and they love having control. You need to take the power away from this person. Go your own way. You'd be better off alone. I mean, seriously. You are very capable of success on your own. Stop giving your energy to whoever this person is. I think, I think that it's like you're, you're walking on eggshells with whoever this person is. Reluctant to take a new approach. This person isn't going to change. They are not going to change. This person, they, all they do is run their mouth. They cause a lot of problems. They're, they keep you, this is troublesome, very troublesome. And they like to cause trouble. I think you're dealing with a troublemaker, Aries. And I don't know if it's a Pisces, because I almost called you Pisces. Could be a Leo. This is a Pisces. This is a troublemaker. They love conflict. This is conflict right here. They love to fight. They thrive on it. And it's like, you need to move on from this person, please. I'm begging you. Very shallow energy, whoever you're dealing with. Very shallow. Oh my God, it's a constant battle with this person. This person loves to fight. They bring a lot of challenge into your life. They refuse to budge. They love to compete. They love to gossip. You are dealing with a big gossip that causes a lot of fights. And they're bringing disharmony to your life. The Six of Swords reverse. They're keeping you troubled. They keep, they're keeping you in a situation that is very troublesome. And it's all because they're very stubborn. You're dealing with a stubborn individual who is very combative. Oh my God. This person is nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. I feel as though this person is very secretive. There, there's stuff that you don't even know. This person is hiding some. There's definitely, you're dealing with somebody who is, is, is very secretive. They love to fight. This person really wants to be alone. They're not expressing it. This person is probably waiting for you to depart. But they like the control. And as long as you allow them to be in control, they're going to keep doing it. Let's go back over here. You need to take the power away from this person. Page of Wands. This is take a new new adventure. I think that you you know there where there's a will, there's a way. You can you can go your own way. You can. If you can find your willpower to face your fears. This is like a new direction. This is traveling. I feel like you are going to get an offer or you're going to get a vision, okay? You're going to get a vision or you're going to see something. It's like you're going to get a light bulb moment. It's like you're going to see that it's, you'd be better off on your own. I think that you are going to be traveling down a new path. You're going to be going down a new road. I think you have an exciting, bright opportunity that is being given to you that could really grow it, it with hard work and determination. And if you don't lose your focus, you can get your power back away from this person. You have been in a toxic, unhealthy situation. May, may have been because of greed may have been because of social pressure this is the devil this is somebody who is very materialistic that is focused on things very greedy very egotistical bound to something that is unhealthy because of the looks of it because of uh, materialism I think this is materialism I think that you can break free from these bad habits, from this toxic situation, if you can find the determination to do so. 
You could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like this is you needing to get let go of whatever this is that you're tied to. It's greed. It's greed. It's greed. It's 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 based on society. It's like you're holding on to something that is materialistic. Let it go. Drop it. Drop it. For some of you, you just need to let it go. This is this is too much to hold on to. It's killing you. you there's an unhealthy situation that is killing you. Stress kills. And I think that you're going to be given an opportunity to break free. I think that that's what's going to have happen. You're good. It's like the hand of God, okay, because this is the hand of God. It's saying, here you go. This is your opportunity. Just go for it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take this new opportunity. You may get a new vision that gives you to, an opportunity to start a new business, to start a new project, okay, something that could really grow. If you, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is focused. You have to start from the bottom and you have to keep going and you can't give up. And it's going to take a lot of hard work. A lot. But if you give your power away to this narcissist or whoever this person is, this person is so controlling and they have you wrapped right around their finger. You need to take your energy and your power away from this person. This person isn't telling you the truth anyway. This person is keeping you stuck, but they're waiting for you to go because they love the power. They love it. They love it. You're feeding their ego. This person has a huge ego. And they know they have control over you. They know it. They do. So, you are going to be given an opportunity in in um, February. You are. This is some sort of offer or invitation to go someplace else. Okay, this is to go someplace else. So you're going to receive an offer. You're going to receive an invitation. This is going to, this is good news. It's going to be an opportunity to travel someplace or to go someplace or to go your own way. But the only way that you're going to get this opportunity, or you have to accept it. So there, this, this is lack of acceptance, okay? Because you're still giving your power away. This is the, the need to drop all the baggage, to drop the responsibilities of this toxic situation, to leave it behind. Stop carrying it. Stop carrying all this weight. Stop carrying it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop this unhealthy situation. Break free from this. And this is freedom. Freedom from a toxic situation. So I think that you will be breaking free from something that is unhealthy for you. I do. I see you um, getting this sudden, sudden vision or this sudden opportunity that really strikes your fancy and leads you in that direction. And I think what this does is it's going to... Um, For some of you, it's gonna you're going to be starting your own business, okay? You're going to be starting your own venture. This is a new adventure, okay? It's a new, exciting opportunity. Some of you may be receiving a message that really, a message from somebody that really excites you. This person, for if this is in regards to a relationship, this person could be a little bit younger. There could be a little bit of an age difference. If you are single, you could uh, sudden, have a sudden attraction to somebody that you are very, um, very attracted to. There's going to be a sudden attraction here. Whether this, I don't know what it is, but there's definitely going to be a sudden attraction that I think that it it is very tempted to take, okay? If you are single, you may be um, meeting up with somebody suddenly that you are have some sort of connection with. Maybe this is a karmic connection that you need to learn a lesson from. Just saying. I mean, there's definitely going to be a sexual attraction here that is undeniable with somebody. Um, so for some of you, there is. There is. Uh, and there may be, there's probably, you may even, I mean, if you are single, you may have, you may, uh, you know, have a sexual encounter that um, surprises you, okay? Just saying. If you are in a coupled relationship, I feel like there is a toxic, unhealthy situation that you are going to be breaking, fr breaking free from, okay? This is freedom from a toxic, unhealthy situation. It's like you see the light. You get this bright opportunity from above that, that gives you the... Uh, 
desire to take it because this is desire and this is desire. This is a very desirable time. Okay, somebody is going to find you desirable or you're going to, I think that's what this is. I think that you are going to be looking real good and somebody is definitely going to be attracted to you. If you are single, you're going to be, you're going to be pursued by the looks of things if you are single. If you are in a coupled relationship, this is toxic, this is unhealthy, and you need to let it go. And I'm not just saying that. There's a, there, you know, maybe is it feels like somebody's better off on their own. I mean, that's what that is. That is an independent person who is very capable of taking care of themselves. This person over here is very secretive, and they're very controlling, and they're a gossip, and they like to fight. I don't know who this person is. Um, very, very seductive though. Okay, very seductive. So if you are the single person over here, you could be dealing with somebody who is very seductive. This person is seductive. This person is secretive. They have, they, I think they have hidden agendas and they may just want to use you. This person is not a good person. Okay, so just beware. Could end up in a you could end up in in a situation that you are tied to that you wish you never did it. This person probably looked really good. Maybe they had money. Maybe whatever the case is, maybe they have money. Maybe they look like, you know, beautiful or whatever the case is, but I'm telling you what, it doesn't look good. So I think in February you probably are going to be pursued by an, an opportunity that um, excites you, but I think that you're better off on your own. And that's what I got. Good luck. Yeah. See how, see that? It's somebody who is very self-sufficient that really doesn't need anybody. I'm good. Some of you may be focused on your money, you're focused on your business, you're focused on everything but love, and you get this passionate opportunity to, you know, whatever, and it leads to, to something really unhealthy. I mean, this is, the devil is unhealthy, that's instant gratification that ends badly, okay? This person is troubled. They are very troubled and they like to fight. So yeah, you're going to be receiving messages from somebody that is... Uh, <laughs> this person is more than meets the eye. Put it that way. If you are married to this person, get the hell out. I'm sorry, but that's what I see. Good luck. <laughs> 